Hi everyone, it's uh, Sensei Jason Gould here from Emerald Necklace Martial Arts and I'm taking a little bit of time today to catch up on my reading. Uh, with two young kids at home, I don't get a whole lot of time to catch up and read and really stay informed intelligently about what's going on in the world. So I recently subscribed to the Christian Science Monitor and in a recent video I shared with you uh, this uh, version of the Monitor that talked about uh, veterans and their return home from Iraq and Afghanistan. But what I want to talk very briefly about today is what I'm getting out of reading the Christian Science Monitor. And before you say, hey, wait a minute, that's uh, Christian Science, isn't that a religious publication? No, yeah, it is not. Uh, the Christian Science Monitor itself is, is a great uh, weekly source of news and information from around the world and has nothing to do with the religion of Christian Science itself. So. I'm not trying to force anything down your throat, but I did want to show you how I'm staying informed about world events and local events and what they mean to me. And again, more often than not, uh, I find that the Christian Science Monitor has uh, very strong relevance uh, in my work as a martial arts instructor and as what I like to call an enlightened martial artist. I'm going to share a few things with you. Uh, one recent version of the Monitor talked about the safety of our food supply here in the US. We spend a lot of time at the dojo talking about uh, healthy eating and being a conscious consumer. Uh, do you know where your food comes from? Uh, it's very important. So as I look at uh, one of the issues here, uh, it says why you should care about where your dinner's been. And it really talks about uh, the source of your food and how far it came to get to your dinner plate and uh, who made it and who sacrificed for it and what are the political and economic conditions that that food came from and, and what does it mean to you uh, here in America. Another issue of the monitor talks about the future of energy. We spend a lot of time again here at the dojo talking about environmentalism uh, as self-defense uh, and being uh, good to our environment and using energy wisely. Uh, all of those things are self-defense issues for the enlightened martial artist. But every once in a while something comes in that really hits home. Uh, and this one is from a recent uh, version of the Monitor about the status of the economy and the slow recovery of the economy. But right in the uh, center, page 35 of the October 18 issue of the Monitor, you can see I'm behind in my reading, is an article that says is about what works against bullies uh, and if you're a martial arts instructor uh, pay attention uh, learn this lesson and share it with your students so in a column on what works against bullies I'll read you just a small segment uh, while 80 to 90 percent of children say it's unpleasant to watch bullying only 11 percent intervene according to a 2000 report on bullying by the LaMarche Center for Research on Violence and Conflict Resolution in Toronto. Here's the kicker though. When, bystander, when bystanders speak up, half of the time the bully backs down. Even when the behavior doesn't stop, its effect is deflated. As the number of bystanders who speak up increases, the amount of bullying will decrease. So there you have it. Um, even if uh, the, the small kids uh, in your sphere of influence aren't being bullied and they're not bullying, if they're seeing bullying, uh, you've got to tell them that they have the ability to make a difference by stepping up and speaking up. And that from the Christian Science Monitor. One of the other things I really love about the Monitor as I'm reading through it, uh, and it's tough to read through these every week and sometimes I question uh, if this is the right resource for me, but every week in the back of every single issue is a section called People Making a Difference. And uh, as you all know, uh, one of the charters that we have here at the dojo is that we're committed to making a positive difference here in the world. So every week I get a fresh uh, injection of uh, news about people around the world who are doing positive things. Uh, this one here is a gentleman named Don Ritchie, uh, and he uh, is involved with suicide prevention. Uh, and you can read all about him in the October issue of the Monitor, but every week there's a profile of a new person to learn about who's doing some great things in the world. So if you need a place to get inspired, there's a good place for it. Um, we'll talk soon. Thanks.